Hey there, welcome back to MAMS Medical. If you're new here, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for instant and regular updates. Make sure to watch the complete video to learn all about today's topic. And for further details and reading material, check the description below. Let's dive right in. Today we're breaking down Staphylococcus microbiology. Staphylococcus is a genus of gram-positive bacteria known for their spherical shape and cluster formation resembling grape bunches. There are over 40 species, most of which are harmless and reside on the skin and mucous membranes, but some species can cause severe infections. Let's start with the key species. First up, Staphylococcus aureus. This is the most pathogenic species responsible for skin infections, pneumonia, food poisoning, and toxic shock syndrome. Methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, or MRSA, is particularly concerning due to its antibiotic resistance. Then we have Staphylococcus epidermidis, typically found on the skin and mucous membranes. It's usually non-pathogenic but can cause infections in immunocompromised individuals or those with implanted medical devices. Lastly, Staphylococcus saprophyticus, a common culprit of urinary tract infections in young women. Now let's talk morphology. Staphylococcus bacteria are spherical, or cochi, and form clusters due to their division in multiple planes. They are gram-positive, appearing purple under a microscope after gram staining. When it comes to growth characteristics, Staphylococcus bacteria are both aerobic and facultatively anaerobic, meaning they can grow with or without oxygen. They thrive best at temperatures between 30 to 37 degrees Celsius. On solid media like blood agar, Colonies usually appear smooth, round, and often golden yellow, especially for S. aureus. Staphylococcus bacteria possess several virulence factors. They produce various toxins, including alpha-toxin that lyses host cells, enterotoxins that cause food poisoning, and toxic shock syndrome toxin, TSST1, enzymes like coagulus which clots blood plasma, hyaluronidase that degrades connective tissue, and staphylokinase that dissolves blood clots, add to their pathogenicity. Surface proteins help them attach to host tissues, and a capsule inhibits phagocytosis. Pathogenesis begins with colonization of the anterior nares, skin, and mucosal surfaces. Invasion occurs through breaks in the skin or mucous membranes leading to infection. Staphylococcus also evades the immune system by producing factors that inhibit phagocytosis and neutralize antimicrobial peptides. Common infections caused by Staphylococcus include skin and soft tissue infections like impetigo, cellulitis, and abscesses. They also cause bone and joint infections such as osteomyelitis and septic arthritis, respiratory infections like pneumonia, endocarditis, food poisoning, and toxic shock syndrome. Diagnosis involves culture growth on selective media like mannitol salt agar and identifying gram-positive kachi and clusters through gram staining. The coagulus test differentiates S. aureus from other Staphylococci, and molecular methods like PCR detect toxin genes and resistance determinants. Treatment depends on antibiotic susceptibility testing, with MRSA requiring specific agents like vancomycin or linezolid. Surgical intervention may be necessary for abscess drainage or removal of infected devices. Prevention is key. Regular hand washing, proper wound care and cautious use of antibiotics are crucial to preventing resistance. Understanding Staphylococcus, particularly S. aureus, is vital for managing and preventing infections, especially with the growing challenge of antibiotic resistance. Thanks for watching MAMS Medical. Don't forget to leave a thoughtful comment below and stay tuned for more instant updates.